Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what it would take to visit another star? For centuries, humans have dreamed of traveling to the stars, but only recently have we begun to understand just how far away they really are. One star system in particular has captured our attention, Alpha Centauri. It's the closest star system to our sun, and even has an exoplanet, Proxima b, which could potentially have Earth-like qualities. But here's the problem. How long would it take to actually get there? And more importantly, how could we make that journey possible? Let's dive in. First, let's talk about distance. Alpha Centauri is 4.25 light years away. That's about 40 trillion kilometers. To put that into perspective, that's over 100 million times the distance from Earth to the Moon. Even the farthest human-made object, Voyager 1, which has been traveling for over 45 years, has only made it to about 0.05% of the way there. Right now, our fastest space probe, New Horizons, which just sped past Pluto, would take about 78,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri. That's almost as long as the entire history of human civilization. Clearly, that's not an option if we ever want to see this planet up close in our lifetime. So the challenge isn't just about getting there, it's about getting there fast enough to be meaningful. And that brings us to the next big problem, speed. If we ever wanted to reach Alpha Centauri in a reasonable time frame, let's say 20 years or so, we would need a spacecraft traveling at about 28% the speed of light roughly 300 million kilometers per hour. To put that in perspective, the fastest rocket ever built, the Parker Solar Probe, reaches speeds of about 700,000 kilometers per hour, which is less than 1% of what we would need. And speed isn't just about going fast, it's about how you get that speed. Right now, all of our spacecraft rely on chemical rockets, which is great for getting us to the moon or Mars, but completely useless for interstellar travel. If we want to visit another star, we need an entirely new type of propulsion system. Fortunately, scientists have been working on some wild ideas that can make it possible. Back in the 1960s, scientists proposed a spaceship that would literally be powered by nuclear bombs. The idea, called Project Orion, was simple but extreme. Drop small nuclear explosions behind the spacecraft using the shock waves to propel it forward. In theory, this could get a spacecraft up to 5% the speed of light, cutting the journey to Alpha Centauri down to under a century. But there were obvious problems. First, detonating hundreds or thousands of nuclear bombs in space is dangerous and politically controversial. Second, the sheer engineering challenges of creating a spaceship that could withstand those repeated explosions made it impractical. Still, the idea of nuclear propulsion didn't die there. A more refined idea came in the 1970s with Project Daedalus. This concept involved using nuclear fusion, like the process that powers the sun, to propel a massive spacecraft at 10% the speed of light. That would cut the journey down to about 40 years, which is much more manageable. The Daedalus design would use controlled nuclear fusion reactions to generate massive amounts of thrust. The main problem? We still don't have working nuclear fusion reactors, even for generating power on Earth, let alone for a spaceship. That means that this idea, while promising, is still firmly in the realm of science fiction. A more modern and promising idea is using lasers to push ultralight sails. The Breakthrough Starshot project is working on this right now. The idea is to build tiny spacecraft, no bigger than a microchip, and attach them to a thin sail, and fire a powerful laser at them from Earth. If done correctly, these probes could reach 20% the speed of light, cutting the journey to just over 20 years. The downside? It would require an array of lasers the size of a city, producing hundreds of gigawatts of energy, more power than the entire planet currently generates. Still, this is one of the few interstellar travel concepts being actively researched today. The most futuristic option involves using antimatter, the most energy-packed substance in the universe. When antimatter and matter collide, they release pure energy. A single gram of antimatter releases 70 times more energy than nuclear fusion. 
If we could create enough of it, which we currently can't, but if we could, an antimatter spaceship could reach 40% the speed of light and get to Alpha Centauri in about a decade. The biggest problem? Right now it takes us billions of dollars and years of research just to create a few atoms of antimatter. If we wanted to make enough antimatter to fuel a spaceship, we would need an entire planet's worth of energy production. So while the physics work, the engineering challenges are immense. So, will NASA or some other space agency make this happen? NASA has hinted at an interstellar mission by 2069, the 100th anniversary of the moon landing. But the reality is, is we still have massive technological hurdles to overcome. In the short term, robotic probes like the ones in Breakthrough Starshot seem the most realistic. But who knows? With advances in physics, propulsion, and even human longevity, we might one day make interstellar travel a reality. Other futuristic ideas involve von Neumann probes, self-replicating robotic explorers that could spread through the galaxy, or interstellar arts, huge self-sustaining ships carrying generations of humans on journeys lasting thousands of years. But these concepts, while fascinating, are a long way from becoming reality. So what do you think? Will we reach Alpha Centauri in our lifetime? Which propulsion system do you think has the best chance of success? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. The future of space exploration is just beginning, and we're here to cover every step of the journey. Thanks for watching.